Hi everyone and welcome to the very first video of my brand new YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the steps needed in order to watch YouTube videos on your car's head unit or screen while the vehicle is in motion or while driving. However, before we begin, I would like to point out two things. First, I do not recommend anyone watching any videos while driving as that certainly will cause distractions on the road. This kind of a setup is best suited for your co-passengers only who usually tend to get bored while the driver drives around. And second, this method basically involves mirroring your non-rooted or unaltered phone screen onto the car screen. However, at the time of making this video, there aren't any such apps that allow such a functionality. The only app that seems to be doing a similar job for now at least is not free either. But it is relatively much, much cheaper than some external devices which provide the same functionality. There are two more apps that we will be needing in this setup, but thankfully both those apps are free. You can find the direct download links of the latest versions of both the apps in the description below. I'm going to be showing the steps using my Samsung S series phone running on Android 14 and this should work for most phones out there too. In your phone go to settings, then connected devices, then Android Auto, disable the option start music automatically, scroll down and tap on the version option 8 to 10 times in order to enable developer options which is already enabled in this phone. And if you see any prompt then simply agree to enable developer options. Scroll up and click on the three dots on the top right corner, then developer settings, then application mode, select developer, scroll down and check the box next to unknown sources and exit all applications. Go to files and locate the downloaded APK files. Click on the already downloaded latest King Installer APK to install it which here is version 1.4 and click on install. Then click on open, allow any access permissions you see for the app, go back and click on select file, select the already downloaded latest for Mata Auto APK which here is version 1.9.9. We can leave both these boxes unchecked since we are using a non-rooted Samsung phone here. And then click on install as king. Click on settings and allow any access permissions you see for the app. Then click on install and click on done. As you can see both the free apps here have been successfully installed in my phone. Now we need to install the third and final app here which is known as the head unit reloaded app. This app can be downloaded and installed directly from Google Play Store. And as already informed this app will allow us to mirror our phone screen to our car screen. I would recommend that you do not buy this app just yet. Stick with me till the end of this video to see if you should really be buying this app or not. Also do keep in mind that this app will ask you to allow various permissions so I would recommend that you do this at your own risk. And no, I do not own this app. I'm only testing it here to show you all its functionality. And no, this is not a sponsored video either. Once done, you will see a few icons on the screen similar to this among which there is also a self mode icon, the very first one. Once you click on it, you may see an error page asking you to exit the app. Simply close all the apps again and reopen the self mode option in the head unit reloaded app. And then you should be able to see Android Auto working on your phone itself along with the Formata Auto app that we installed earlier. However, we don't want to see this interface on our phones. We want to see this on the car screen or any external portable Android Auto Apple CarPlay screen such as this one. So now we are simply going to mirror our phone screen to this screen. And merely connecting it to this will not work. We now need to make some more changes in our phone settings. Go to settings and search for special access. Then appear on top, scroll down and enable it for Formata Auto. Go back and click on change system settings, scroll down and enable it for Formata Auto here as well. And now go back to the main settings, scroll down and enter accessibility, then installed apps. And here as soon as you click on Formata Auto, you will notice that changes for this app are restricted as of now which we need to allow in order to proceed further. And to do that, click on OK and go back to the main settings. Then go to apps, scroll down and click on Formata Auto, click on the three dots on the top right corner and then click on allow restricted settings. Use your biometrics to enable this option. Once done, let's head back to the main settings, then accessibility, then installed apps. And now we can see that Formata Auto app has been enabled. Click on it, turn it on and select the option allow. And let's close all of the apps now and remove any notifications that may appear on the top. Open the head unit reloaded app once again. In the list of apps we can notice a few different Formata Auto apps. 
The only one that we are interested in is the one in the color pink. Click on the pink from Mata Auto icon and you should be able to see this screen now which basically is an indication that the phone is now ready to be mirrored onto any external Android Auto device such as your car screen or even this portable screen right here. So if you are able to see this screen here then congratulations you are on the right track. If not then you might have missed some steps and you may need to go back and repeat the entire process. And now simply close all of the apps on the phone and let's connect the phone to this portable Android auto screen here. I've already paired this to my phone earlier so as soon as I plug in the power cable it should automatically connect to my phone and we should be able to see my phone screen mirrored without any issues. Click on start now and done. We now have access to Fermata Auto on our portable Android auto screen and going forward your co-passengers can access all of the YouTube videos they wish to see on those long road trips. And yes this should work just the same in your car no matter if you use wireless or wired Android Auto. Now let's discuss some of the limitations of using this app. First one is that this is a paid app. Nonetheless I feel it's a very small price to pay for what you get in return with the gadgets that you already own. Your phone and the car screen. Second, while using this method, our phone screen will now need to remain on during the entirety of the road trips in order to view the videos since we are basically just mirroring the phone screen here. Though the app does manage to decrease the brightness of the phone screen substantially which should help in saving a lot of battery. And finally, the third limitation that I found was that upon reconnecting the phone to the car's Android Auto, it doesn't usually work automatically like it did initially. In my experience, upon every reconnection after the first one, it either works automatically, otherwise the normal Android auto screen starts working without the screen mirroring and hence YouTube does not work. Sometimes you may also see an error message on the screen saying that we need to allow permissions in order to proceed further. The same permissions that we had already provided earlier. However, an easy workaround for this is simply to uninstall and reinstall just the head unit reloaded app. After which the setup works just like the very first time without any issues. It is a very easy fix for sure though it can be a bit inconvenient if you keep reconnecting your phone to your car. Anyways this is not a permanent solution and I will keep looking into this issue for all the latest Android versions going forward and I will get back to you as soon as I find a better alternative or a permanent solution to this via another video. I hope this tech made sense to you and if it did then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel now to help me reach my very first 1000 subscribers at the earliest and i'll catch you all soon in the next video bye bye